In this problem, we have a U-tube. So this is our U-tube. And it says that the arms are open to the atmosphere. And then it says that equal volumes of water and light oil, and it gives us the density for the oil as 49.3 pound m per foot cubed are poured from different arms. So basically what we have is we have this U-tube and it has oil in one side and water in the other side. And then it says a person blows from the oil side of the U-tube until the contact surface of the two fluids moves to the bottom. So basically someone's blowing into one side of this tube here and they're going to blow until they generate enough pressure here that the oil and the water move so that the contact surface is at the bottom of the U-tube. And since equal amounts of oil and water were poured into the U-tube initially, this means that the liquid levels of the two arms are going to be the same. So this height, this 30 inches, the, both the oil and the water are going to have a height of 30 inches. What it wants us to do is determine the gauge pressure that the person exerts on the oil. So this person is blowing into this tube and it wants us to calculate what the gauge pressure is of the, their um, blowing into the tube. So there's a couple of ways you can do this. First of all, I'm going to tell you one way and then I'm going to show you the way that I like to do these problems. This is really a manometer problem and I like to do manometer problems I like to approach them all the same way so that I so that they're basically so they're all the same um, so one way that you can do this is you can recognize that at this point right here and I'm just going to call this PC for the contact pressure between the oil and the water at this point so PC the pressure of the oil is equal to the pressure of the water. So the pressure that they're exerting right there is the same. And so then you can write an equation. So, and I'll just write it, I guess. So PC is equal to the pressure of the oil, which is equal to the pressure of the water. Um, so pressure of oil is equal to pressure of water. And I'm going to change this to a just PO. And the pressure of the oil is equal to the pressure that the person's blowing. So I'm just going to put PB. So PB would be right here. Plus the density of the oil multiplied by gravity multiplied by the height of the oil. And then the pressure of the water is equal to, oops, so pressure of the water is equal to the atmospheric pressure, because remember there, this is open to the atmosphere, so there's atmospheric pressure right here, plus the density of the water multiplied by gravity multiplied by the height of the water. So since we know these are equal, what we can do is just um, just set them equal. So the pressure that the person's blowing plus the density of the oil, G H of oil, is equal to the atmospheric pressure plus the density of the water plus gravity times the height of the water. And then what we're looking for is this. So the pressure that the person's blowing into the U-tube. And so we can just solve this equation for that. So PB is equal to the atmospheric pressure plus the density, <coughs> density of the water, G height of the water, minus the density of the oil, G height of the oil. And then we can make a simplification here. So we know that the height of the water is equal to the height of the oil. So that was specified in the problem. So the liquid level in the two arms are the same. So this works out to um, pre the atmospheric pressure plus 
And since G and H are the same, we can just pull those out. So G, H, and then rho W minus rho oil. So this is the pressure that the person's blowing into the tube, although it's asking us for the gauge pressure, so that means we need to subtract the atmospheric pressure from this. So P, B, I'm just going to specify that this is gauge, is equal to P, B minus P, A, atmospheric. And so this is equal to G, H, rho, W minus rho, oil. So this is one way that you can solve this problem. Um, I'm going to I'm going to solve it a second way as well because the the second way is the way that I actually like to solve it. But you'll get the same answer both ways. So I'm going to go ahead and erase this. So what I like to do, the way I like to solve these manometer problems, I like to start where the pressure is known. So it's known here. We know what the atmospheric pressure is, and I like to just solve the, like calculate the pressures at each point until I get to the point that I want. So for instance, I would start here where I know the pressure, solve for the pressure here, so I'll just call that P1, and then solve for the pressure here, and I'll call that PB. So I start at a known pressure and then work through until I get to the pressure that is unknown that I want. So first of all, let's, and I'm going to change this to um, PC. So first of all, let's solve for PC. We know what the atmospheric pressure is. So PC is equal to the atmospheric pressure plus the density of the water multiplied by gravity multiplied by the height of the water. So then what I want to do is put in some numbers and actually calculate what this PC is. So first of all I'm working in English units because I was given that the density of the oil, so rho of the oil is equal to 49.3 pound mass per foot squared and so the density of the water, so I'm going to just put rho water is equal to 62.4 pound mass per foot cubed. And the atmospheric pressure is 14.7 psi. So let's go ahead and put some numbers into this equation. So the contact pressure is equal to the atmospheric pressure, which is 14.7, and psi is pound force inch squared, plus, and then I have the density of the water, which is 62.4 pound mass per foot cube and then I have gravity which is 32.2 feet per second squared multiplied by the height of the water which is 30 inches so 30 inches now I have a choice. I can either convert all of my units into um, inches or into feet. And so I think I'm going to convert, first I'm going to convert this 30 inches into feet and then I'm going to convert the entire thing into inch squared. So what I mean by that is I'm going to convert this 30 inches into feet. So one foot over 12 inches, and then I need I need a um, I need to account for the fact that I have a pound mass here and pound force here. So I have one pound force is equal to 32.2 pound mass foot second squared. And then I'm going to multiply this entire thing, so this should actually be up here, but I ran out of room. So I want to convert this foot squared to inch squared, so 1 foot squared over 144 inch squared. So now let's just cancel out some units to make sure 
that I'm getting what I want. So since this value right here is pound force inch squared, that's the units that I need on this side because if I'm adding two things together, they have to have the same units. So this pound mass cancels um, the, let's see, inches cancel this. I have a foot squared that's going to cancel with the um, foot cube, so then I just have foot. And then the second squared cancels. So I'm left with pound foot inch squared, but then I have the foot squared here, so these these foots cancel, and so yeah, I'm left with pound foot over inch squared, which is, or pound force inch squared, which is equal to, which is PSI. So then if I work through this math, this, so 14.7 plus, and then if I work through the rest of this math, this works out to 15.78 pound force inch squared, which is equal to 15.78 PSI. All right, so what I've calculated is the pressure right here. So now I know what the contact pressure is between the oil and the water. So now I can work backwards again and calculate what PB is or what the pressure is from the person blowing into this tube. So PB is equal to the contact pressure, so PC minus and it's minus because we're going up so we're the so the pressure here has to be more than the pressure right here so we're going up and so we're going to subtract that pressure so this is the density of the oil multiplied by gravity multiplied by the height of the oil so then this is equal to so we've already calculated pc as 15.78 pound force inch squared minus, and then we have the density of the oil which was given, so that was 49.3 pound mass foot squared. And then we have gravity which is 32.2 .2 feet per second squared and the height is 30 inches. And I'm going to convert the 30 inches into feet, so 1 foot over 12 inches. And then continuing over here, because I'm out of room, I need to use a conversion factor between the pound mass and pound force. So this is going to be 1 pound force over 32.2 pound mass foot second squared. And then if I work through these units, I'm going to end up with a, a pound force over foot squared, but I need pound force over inch squared because that's what I have here. So I'm going to convert the foot squared to inch squared. So I have one foot squared over 144 inch squared. All right, so the units should all cancel out like they did before. So let's just check. So I had the <clears throat> the pound masses cancel out, this foot cancels out with this, and this is actually foot cubed. So foot cubed, so then that cancels, inches cancel, seconds cancel, and um, this foot squared cancels. So I'm left with pound force, so right here, over inch squared, which is what I want. All right, so now I can work through this math. So I have 15.78 pound force inch squared minus, and then if I work through all that, I get 14.92 pound force inch squared which is 14.92 PSI. And so this is the, the pressure that the person is exerting when they're blowing into that tube. 
um, in absolute pressure, the problem is asking for gauge pressure, so I'm going to subtract the atmospheric pressure from the ab absolute pressure. So P B gauge is equal to 14.92 minus 14.7, which is equal to 0 0.226 PSI. So this is the gauge pressure that the person is exerting when they blow into the U-tube.